In this video, we'll dive into the Edit Terrain mode and explore more of the terrain tools. There are two main modes here, Select and Place Objects, which we covered in the previous video, and Edit Terrain. You can switch between these modes using the options in the bottom right. Let's select Edit Terrain. Now you'll see a new menu for terrain editing. Clicking in the scene will no longer select objects. Instead, you'll draw terrain using the Selected tool. The default tool in this mode is the Shape tool, which lets you draw new terrain using a 3D brush. You can adjust the brush size and shape or switch to draw mode to subtract or erase terrain. Holding shift while using this tool will also let you erase terrain. By default, your brush will draw onto a 2D plane, making it easy to create terrain players can interact with. Collisions are automatically generated, so players can immediately walk around on the terrain you make. If you don't want to draw on the 2D plane, you can change the draw onto setting. Choose horizontal plane for a large flat stage or surface to draw onto existing objects. The plane offset setting provides further control, allowing you to draw terrain in different layers, such as in the background. Once you've added some terrain, use the sculpt tool to add fine details. The sculpt tool raises terrain towards the camera, so move around to shape your terrain as desired. Holding shift lets you subtract terrain here as well. The smooth tool functions similarly, providing a quick way to even out rough terrain. In paint mode, you can set up three different textures for your terrain. You can load custom textures or choose from a selection of default textures. To add custom textures, click on one of the three available textures and upload your texture. Make sure it matches the recommended image size and file type. To apply the texture, select the texture number in paint texture setting and then draw it into your terrain. Sometimes creating separate terrains can be useful for different objects. Click new terrain to create a new terrain object. This will appear in the world outliner. By default, it's empty. When you switch back to select and place objects mode, you can select and move each terrain individually. 